Hi, my name is Felicia Gath. I am one of the district tech facilitators and I support schools in the north region of the district. Uh, this quick video is to show you how to share uh, a Google Jamboard. So first we will go to our handy dandy waffle. We will scroll down until we see the Jamboard um, icon. Click on it. Jamboard is slightly different from the other Google apps because you create a brand new uh, Jamboard at the very bottom with the plus sign, but let's just say that we are going to share something different. So let's share this four corner corral. And so in order to share a Jamboard, I would go to the blue button at the very top and click on share. Here I can determine whether or not who I want to share this with. And so I can say anyone with the link, I can restrict it. I can say just uh, East Baton Rouge Parish School employees, but I am going to stick with anyone with a link. I would need to give them access to edit on here because I want them to interact with each other. Uh, if I just did view, all they would be able to do is see the things that I am doing. So when you're doing a Jamboard, although there are many times that we don't want to give them editor rights, this is one time you would because the purpose of uh, the whiteboard, the interactive whiteboard, is to have the students to collaborate and engage in the lesson. So you would keep it on editor, and I can do two things, but the main and the easiest thing, I can do, a, a, share it a couple of ways, but the easiest way to share it is to copy the link and then I can share the link in my Google Classroom. I can share the link through an email. Um, I can um, uh, allow my students to already have, like I said, already have access to it. If I gave them a Google Doc and I just copied and pasted the link on there, they can go in through Google Doc and go to the um, Jamboard, or I can do it even on Google Slides. So I want to share that link with the students. I click done, and then my students will have access to collaborate together on this particular board. The other thing that you could do again is if you don't want, if you want them each to have their own board, remember that you can go and all the way up to where it says viewer, you can put in a copy and then it will force the students once they click on the link to uh, make a copy of that particular Jamboard presentation. And so each individual student would be able to use it. But more than any uh, likely, uh, the Jamboards are meant for collaboration. So you would probably want to be able to allow your students to collaborate um, when you are creating these activities. Thank you.